Hello, and welcome to the Scientific Adventure of the Beard Man. Today, we're going to be looking at a concept builder on physicsclassroom.com under the topic of kinematics with the title, Name That Motion. Uh, last time, uh, in the last video that I made on acceleration, we talked about dot diagrams and ticker tape diagrams, how you attach this string to a car, which as it's moving, pulls it through, and this thing leaves a little mark every tenth of a second or something like that. They can go at different speeds, but every tenth of a second or something like that. And so then the dots can tell you how fast it was moving at that time. The farther apart they are, the faster that tape was being pulled through. The, the closer together they are, the slower the tape was being pulled through. Okay, and so we had fast. This tells you it was going fast and slower. Constant speed, they're all the same distance apart. If they get farther and farther apart, it's accelerating. Keep in mind, if it was going the other direction, they'd be getting closer together. And then the faster they're getting farther apart, the more acceleration. This particular, uh, I'll link that acceleration one here. So if you want to go back and see that in more detail, we're going to look at this more or less in just a slightly different way. I got some uh, animated GIFs that I learned how to make and created these wonderful animated GIFs that keep repeating. Um, and so uh, we'll take a look at them and see what's going on. So here we see a car that's moving forward. We see it's fairly close together at the beginning, meaning it's going fairly slow and it starts to speed up. And towards the end, we see it's covering a big distance each tenth of a second. Okay, so slowing that down. Okay, that wasn't what I thought I was going to do. There we go. Slowing that down. We can see the car running along here. We can see it's close together at the beginning, so it's not moving very fast. It only moves that far in a second or in a tenth of a second, but towards the end, it's going much farther. Okay. Um, and then the reverse, when we see it coming back, let me close that for a second here. Um, we see it coming back. We see it slowing down. It's going fast at first. And then as it comes down, it's slowing down and only going a little bit at the end, not moving very fast. Okay, so we can have acceleration or deceleration. Of course, you could have acceleration this way. These ones would be far apart over here and they get close together over here. Um, or you could have acceleration this way. Um, if they were close together over here and ended up far apart over here. But in the concept builder, you'll see little cars moving and you'll see the dots they're leaving behind. All right, let's take a look at this one. So there are two things that you kind of have to get here that they use. One is what direction is the car moving? Pretty much that's pretty simple. This car is moving to the right, it's starting over here on the left and it's moving to the right. So that one's pretty simple, of course. Um, this car is moving to the left, okay? So if it says the car is moving to the left, that would be it, okay? So just be sure you pay attention to that. Uh, that's pretty simple, so I'm gonna let that go there. Next is the direction of acceleration, and this part is definitely a little bit trickier, okay? So um, keep in mind that uh, acceleration is the direction the velocity, we're, we tend to use a vague term here of motion in this concept builder, but velocity is what we're really looking at. The direction the velocity is changing. So I'm gonna draw out some of these velocities. It starts out going pretty slow, so with this small one. And as we go along, the velocity gets bigger and towards the end here, it's even bigger. So what direction is the velocity changing? Well, it goes from a small right-handed arrow to this medium right-handed arrow. You could say it got this much bigger. Okay, and then this one got this much bigger. Okay, um, and so the, the, it's getting bigger towards the right. That means your acceleration is towards the right. Okay, in this case, uh, that is the same direction as the motion when it's accelerating. If it's getting faster and faster, then the direction of the acceleration is the same as the direction of the motion. This car is moving to the right. It's also accelerating to the right. That means it's getting faster. Okay. On the other hand, um, I'm going to put the, nope, I got to go back here first. 
go. So the opposite direction is the motion. When uh, it's accelerating the opposite direction of the motion, this car, let's draw these out. So it starts out over here going pretty fast. Then in the middle here, it's going kind of medium speed. And by the end, it's really going slow. This car is clearly slowing down. Uh, in English class, we tend to use the word decelerating. In here, we might say, it would talk about the, the direction of its acceleration. So what happened? This one got smaller. Instead of being a longer arrow, the arrow shrunk. Instead of being a longer arrow, the arrow shrunk. So the change in the arrow, the change in the velocity is to the right. This object is moving to the left, but accelerating to the right. Like I said, in an English class, you'd call it decelerating. Here, we just talk about the directions. So the direction of the velocity is to the left, but the direction of the acceleration is to the right. Okay, and that's pretty much what you have to do on the, the apprentice level is it'll have cars driving along either accelerating or decelerating, moving to the right or moving to the left. And if you pay attention to these two statements, um, you should be able to figure out the direction of the acceleration. You can picture the arrows even better. That'll help you really make sure you're understanding the physics instead of just memorizing some rules. Um, Finally, there are some cars that just go along at constant velocity. Remember, cars that go at constant velocity will have a ticker tape that's even, um, even on both sides, like, like the ones you see down here. So if, if it left something like this, that would be moving right at constant velocity or moving left at constant velocity. The master level um, just simply has more steps. So the car will do three different things. Okay, so make sure that each step matches. So if it's moving along at constant velocity and then you see it stay in one place for a little while and then it moves back slower or maybe it accelerates as it moves back. Okay, so just make sure all three steps match. I think they're almost always three steps. Um, pay attention to whether the direction is right or left. Once again, that's pretty simple. Is it moving left or moving right for each of the three steps because they may be different. But then the harder one is that make sure you're paying attention to whether it's describing the motion or the acceleration. In the apprentice level, um, it gives you the direction of the motion and the direction of the acceleration for every single one. But in the master level, some of them will just say the car is accelerating left. And maybe it's moving to the right, so you're looking for the word right because it's moving to the right. But it doesn't ask which direction it's moving. It only states the acceleration. So make sure you look carefully as to whether each step is describing the motion or the acceleration. And the first step might be describing the acceleration. The last step might be describing the motion of the last step. Um, but I just make sure you pay close attention. But check each step. Most of the time you'll get it pretty easily. If you feel like you're getting tricked, if you're getting some wrong, make sure you're paying close attention to whether it's describing the motion or the acceleration. Then use the stuff we just discussed in the apprentice level. Finally, the wizard level simply, as far as I could tell, just took the questions from the master level and the apprentice level and mixed them all up to make sure you really understood them. Uh, the choices include some choices like you saw in the first uh, level and or in the apprentice level, and then also some choices like the wizard level, so they're mixed up a little bit. But if you've got the idea from the first two levels, you should be able to piece together the wizard level. All right. Thanks for joining us here on the Scientific Adventures of Beard Man. Uh, if you enjoyed the video, please click the like and subscribe buttons. If you have any questions, please leave them down in the comments. I'd love to help you out. Um, I'll see you next time on the Scientific Adventures of Beard Man.